Cryptocurrency mining, especially GPU mining, has really come a long way over the years and has become very popular. The question is, is GPU mining still worth it today? Today on that Techo Guy, I'm going to be showing you my current profits and if cryptocurrency mining with your GPUs is still profitable. Stay tuned. So a question that comes up the most frequently in the mining world is, is it really worth mining with your GPUs? Is it worth buying all that equipment to mine? Because nowadays, obviously, there are a lot of variables to consider, like the difficulty levels and all the miners that are now flooding the networks as well. So you start thinking to yourself, prices of GPUs are now quite expensive. Is it really going to be worth investing in a GPU? And why not just buy the coin outright? Obviously, you would need to do some calculations yourself in order to determine if it will be worth doing or not. And you'll have to work out the math accordingly, depending on your situation, depending on what GPU you're going to buy and for how much you're going to buy it for. But I can show you right now on my screen. This is my newly upgraded rig. I've increased another two video cards in my rig. If you haven't seen that video, check it out in the link above or in the description below. I am now at almost half a giga hash. So at the moment, the current hash rate is 472 mega hash. Sometimes, as you can see here, I do get a dip from time to time. This could be any number of reasons. It could be, for example, a power outage. It could be the internet was not working at that time. This was at four o'clock in the morning, so I was asleep here and it lasted for about an hour. And chances are that it was the internet not working at that time. So these things do happen. Luckily enough, at the moment, I do not have any stale shares. I do not have any invalid shares. So everything seems to be working like clockwork. So this is the best case example that I can give you. So far, my unpaid balance is at 0.06448 ETH. And this was mined over the duration of the last week. So I'm just going to put this to auto update and I'm actually going to refresh the page. So... There we go, that's the latest statistics that I have at the moment. I managed to basically make 200 USD and if you want to convert that to Euro, that's going to come around 171 Euros. In order to calculate this properly, this is just the total amount of Ethereum that I have mined. I am not going to get that as my final balance when I come to cash out. Why? So, first of all, you need to take the electricity costs into consideration. Now, at the moment, I am burning around 1,400 watts of electricity to get almost half a giga hash there. So, it's 491 at the moment. So, the way you would need to calculate is you would need to see how much you are burning. So, if I am burning 1,400 watts to be able to mine, and this includes all the fans all the GPUs and everything else to power on the rig, like the main board and CPUs as well. That's 1,400 watts in my case, okay? Maybe I could fine tune the overclock settings a bit more and maybe get it slightly lower and maybe sacrifice a bit of mega hash in order to do that as well. And maybe it will be slightly more profitable. I am going to times that 24. So in a day, I am using 33,600 watts of electricity in 24 hours. That means that I'm using 33.6 units. So 33.6 units. And I know that my electricity cost per unit is at around 13 cents. Okay, 13 euro cents. And that comes to 4 euros and 37 cents. Okay, just to bring it up to a whole number. Now, four euros and 37 cents are over the course of one day. And this was over the course of one week. So I need to do that times seven, which is going to give me the entire electricity cost over the entire week, which is 30 euros and 57 cents. Let's say it was 30 euros, 60 cents, okay? So if I'm going to do 171 minus the 30 euro and 60 cents, that is going to come to 140 euro and 40 cents approximately at the current price of ethereum at the moment that is still not the final calculation 
because now after EIP 1559, there are network transaction fees involved as well. So you need to also deduct those. So here is what I'm going to do in order to calculate this profit properly and to know if GPU mining Ethereum is still profitable or not. So far it is profitable. God forbid I would have to pay 140 euros in network fees, okay? So it's always going to be profitable, but it will slow down your return on investment, okay? More fees, more pool fees, and electricity fees, things like that, they're all going to slow down your return on investment and the time it's going to take you to pay off the equipment that you've purchased. So I've got 140 after I've deducted the electricity costs. If I go to settings and I go to payout method, here I can actually request to get paid out right now because all you need to do is have a minimum threshold of 0.005 ETH to get paid out. And as you saw earlier, I do have that already. So let's say I want to get paid out right now, okay? So I'm going to get my unpaid balance. It's telling you here that the network fee is going to be 0.001051, and I'm going to get paid out a total of 0.063499, okay? So what you can do is you can check the price of Ethereum, how much it is today. So I'm just going to clear this. We know that I'm using 30 euros and 60 cents in electricity now. Now, if I go and check the Ethereum price today, it's currently, let me just refresh this, it's currently at 2,638 and 93 cents, okay? So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to put that in my calculator and I'm going to times that by whatever Ethermine is saying they're gonna pay me out after those network transaction fees, after the gas fees that I'm going to be paying. And here it's stating that I am going to be paid out 0.063522. And that's going to give me a total of 167 euros and 63 cents. Now remember, minus the electricity that we calculated earlier, 30 euros and 60 cents. So that's going to now give me a net profit of 137 euros, pretty much spot on at the current price of Ethereum. And that is my net profit. So do make sure that you're calculating this correctly in order to know what your return investment on the equipment that you're purchasing is going to be if you are mining Ethereum, okay? Now, if you're not mining Ethereum, if you're mining things like Ravencoin, even with Ethermine themselves, you can mine on Ravencoin. The transaction fee, which in my opinion isn't really that high anyway, will not be there. Obviously, you can also now on Ethermine mine Ergo as well, so that is also another option. So just make sure to do the math properly and calculate everything properly, but in my opinion, is GPU mining still worth it? Is it still profitable? Yes, definitely it is. Because if I am making 137 euros a week after all the electricity costs and the network transaction fees while mining Ethereum with my close to half a giga hash mining rig, then you are still getting back money that you spent on your rig. How long is this going to last for is anyone's guess so you might actually get your return on investment sooner if the price of Ethereum does go up. If the difficulty goes down and you start mining more Ethereum and the price goes up, then you'd be making even more, but the price can also tumble and fall and go down as well. So just keep everything in mind. This is a volatile market, so do be careful when you are purchasing equipment do not overpay for video cards. I recently bought an RTX 3080 Gigabyte Eagle and it cost 1,250 euros. And I bought that locally. It is the revision one. It is not the light hash rate version, the LHR version. It is non-LHR. So at least I am getting the full mega hash out of it. But I did have to replace thermal pads in order to be able to do that. And you can check that video out in the link above and in the description below. I bought two of those cards. They cost me a total of 2,500 euros. And that is quite a lot of money to pay on an RTX 3080, which in reality has an MSRP of around 700 to 800 euros. So they're literally almost charging double for these cards at the moment. But it's to be expected because there are major global shortages around the world still going on. So here you can see my mining 
hash rate again. My opinion is that GPU mining is still profitable. Just be mindful and be careful of how much you're spending and make sure to try and accurately calculate how much the video cards that you're purchasing are going to net you in the end. You're still going to make some money. I have already paid off all my other GPUs, so I can safely kind of calculate that with my entire hash rate at the moment, with the mining power of all the other GPUs, I am now getting my return on investment for the latest two cards. It's like I've now invested in another two video cards and I am getting the mining power from my other video cards in order to be able to pay off these two video cards as well. And once the everything and all the video cards on my rig, which is now seven video cards on my rig, are break even, then I will start realizing actual profits. So the profits I did start to make did go to other video cards and I invested in other video cards, which are the Gigabyte Eagle RTX 3080s. So I do hope that you found this video useful do smash that like button and hit the subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.